Let me first say that Relang is a continuation of a Relex project in which we try and relate examinations, tests in foreign languages to the common European framework of reference for languages. And the idea is that, of course, each exam has a level, but we don't know outside the country, outside the institution where it was produced, what these levels mean. Now, the wonderful thing about the CFR, as it is also called, um, is that that uh, system of levels is shared by most European countries. Now, the Relang project helps countries to construct examinations and tests, to validate examinations and tests, and to link examinations and tests to the CFR. And we have three modules in which we uh, try to achieve all of this. One is where we help countries in producing tests for the classroom, where teacher trainers are instructed, are helped in developing such tests so that children at a young age already learn and are tested in uh, things that are relevant in terms of this CFR. A second module is where we help countries in validating these tests and examinations in terms of the CFR. Of course, it's nice if you can say that your exam has been produced with the CFR levels in mind, but how sure can you be that uh, your examination uh, is really testing what it claims to test and whether it is do doing that in a reliable way? There are ways of ascertaining uh, the validity and the reliability of tests, and we help countries in uh, making sure that uh, their test is valid and reliable. And the third module that we are offering is one where we uh, try and relate an existing examination to the CFR levels, where the country or the institution has produced valid tests and they're wondering what level are these tests at, or when they claim that it is at a particular level, whether we also think that that is at that level. That is quite a technical thing that involves uh, statistics, but uh, in our group we have a number of people who are well versed in statistics and we can help countries in doing that. Now, all of this is really to promote mobility within Europe both from a, if you like, human rights point of view, a Council of Europe point of view, where you want Europeans to communicate with each other, to understand each other, to appreciate each other, but also from an economic point of view, an EU point of view, if you like, where we want to enhance mobility and we want to make sure that people with particular degrees or training can say, look, I have this level in English, French, German as a foreign language and the other person in another country understands, yes, this is what this person can do, yes or no. And in this way we hope to contribute to the European ideals both in the EU and in the Council of Europe.